Hello everyone, welcome to my introduction to genetic algorithms. In this tutorial, uh, we will have a brief introduction to genetic algorithms, what they are, uh, the idea behind them, and uh, why they're quite interesting. After that, we'll have a look at uh, genetic operators, so what actually happens when uh, we actually use these genetic algorithms, and after that, we'll have uh, an example problem and we'll solve it using genetic algorithms. We'll have Java implementation. If you're interested and want to have the code, then you can find the link below this video. After that, we'll have more details now about genetic operators because problems now start to become more interesting. And again, we'll have some Java implementation for which you can, you can find the link below this video. I must say thanks to these people and these websites. They're quite useful. I really encourage you to read more because the material there is really good now genetic algorithms they are a method of search so problem solving via search we'll come to this in the next slide they're often applied to optimization or learning problems they are a part of evolutionary computing and they use this analogy of survival of the fittest so we can have several solutions to a certain problem or several possible solutions to a certain problem and only the best solutions stay. We'll come to how we can find the best solutions throughout these videos. And they have several extensions uh, including these examples. Now, solving problem via search. Uh, if we're solving a problem, then we're looking for a solution, right? Now, this solution can be one of several uh, possible solutions and the one we want is the best amongst those possible solutions and hopefully the actual and real solution that solves the problem now if you can imagine for example you're trying to guess a password the password it consists only of characters small case characters so a b c d small case characters and its length is eight characters now how can you guess it you can have all the possible permutations of the uh, uh, English alphabet from A to Z and you want only eight characters right now the space of all these possible values you can think of it and it is actually the search space this is what we want to explain here so the space of all feasible or possible solutions is called the search space or the state space each point if you can imagine now those values those passwords those possible passwords each point each password of those each point in the search space represents one feasible solution or one possible solution each possible or feasible solution can be marked by its value or fitness for the problem how good uh, a solution it is and what we're looking for we're looking for our solution which is one point or more because some problems can have multiple solutions amongst the feasible solutions and that is one or more points in the search space there is geometry here so you have to use your imagination and imagine the space of all possible solutions and which we are navigating we are flying or sailing throughout that space trying to find uh, the best solution the process of looking for a solution is equal to looking for some extreme point maybe minimum or maximum in the search space so minimum maybe there's no point lower than that maximum there's no point higher than that usually we only know a few points from the search space and we are generating other points as the process of finding solution continues right so we don't know all the possible solutions but usually we know a few of them and we can generate the others as the process continues as we said before we'll come to that in the coming slides now the problem is that the search space uh, and the search process itself can be very complicated we don't know where to look for the solution so we don't know where to look for the solution and even where to start right so the problem is uh, or can be quite complicated and uh, in terms of problem solving via search there are many uh, methods one of them is genetic algorithms the one we're explaining here and Another one is called hill climbing or simulated annealing and they, these methods they try to find 
the most suitable solution or the best solution not necessarily not i'm sorry not necessarily the real solution but they try to find the uh, most suitable solution the solution fi found by by these methods is often considered as a good solution a good solution because it's not often possible to prove what is the real optimum so what exactly is the real solution sometimes it's not feasible it's not possible to actually tell now a little bit of biology and i am not an expert chromosomes all living organisms consist of cells and in each cell there is the same set of chromosomes these chromosomes are strings of dna and serve as a model for the whole organism so notice they are a model for the whole organism a chromosome consists of genes which are blocks of dna basically it can be said that each gene encodes a trait uh, or a property for example the eye color right so a trait or each uh, a gene encodes a, a trait or a property for example eye color hair color and so on and so forth possible settings for a trait are called alleles for example eye color it can be brown brown blue hair color maybe black yes these are settings for traits right and these are called alleles each gene has its own position in the chromosome so the genes are uh, 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 sort of uh, ordered or put in a certain order so each uh, one each gene has its own position in the chromosome and this position is called locus the complete set of genetic material i.e. all the chromosomes is known as the genome and we have two things genotype and phenotype the difference is that the genotype is internal phenotype is external i.e. genotype is the internally encoded inheritable information carried by all living organisms and the genotype is an organism, organism's actual observed property so this, this, this is external as we mentioned it's telling us about the observed the actual properties maybe uh, physical characteristics mental characteristics and so on and so forth i think we're going to stop here and continue the introduction in the um, next video thank you very much for watching and see you next time